We're now joined by ASE East President-elect Stephanie Adams. Stephanie, thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Congratulations on your incoming presidency. That's huge. Thank you. I'm honored to serve the society. So tell us, what are some of your priorities for the year ahead? Well, I think first and foremost, I'd like to continue the work that Stephanie Farrell started with the roundtables. And that was uh, last year's initiative. We brought together six constituent groups within ASEE um, to better understand their issues and some of their concerns. Um, the one that I've been working most closely with this past year has been the professional track. Um, and I think that's going to be critical for ASEE as the, the makeup of faculty is changing on our college campuses. And we need to have more information and more guidance for schools and deans as they hire these folks. Um, I think the other thing I'd like to continue to work on is our, our membership and, and being able to grow our membership. Um, uh, to again, understand the needs of our members and provide enhanced services, I think are the, the main things I like to focus on. So tell me, what are some of the main focus points you think you'll need to address in engineering education as president? So I think first and foremost is helping everybody to feel welcome and included at ASEE. So um, we, pr we talk a lot about diversity and inclusion, um, and, and I'm, we're doing a very good job, but I, th I think we always can do better. Um, so that would be the first thing, is it making sure that everyone knows there's a place for them in ASEE as we go about uh, planning new programs and initiatives and working very carefully with the uh, headquarters team um, to look at some of our programs and, and how we roll things out. So ASEE has been at the heart of education for 126 years. How do you think that's impacted the engineering education field and what do you see for the future? Well, I think we need to get a little bit more out of our silos. I mean, so for so long it was great to be you know, mechanical and, and bring the mechanical approach and electrical approach to, to problems. But as we look at the types of problems that, that this next generation of engineers are going to be tackling, and I've heard them call wicked problems, I've heard them call, you know, all kinds of different things, they're really going to take an interdisciplinary approach and they're going to take a, a different type of thinking. And so one of the things I'm hoping that we as engineering educators can talk a little bit more about is how we incorporate systems thinking into the traditional disciplines. And I think systems engineering is a body of work that has you think more holistically about your approach to problem solving so that even if I'm a mechanical engineer, I still have to think about what are the electrical aspects or what are, you know, what are the other discipline aspects that, that impact the problem and not just uh, approach it from a silo, a siloed uh, perspective. So I think that's the, the single most important thing that we have to talk about uh, as engineering education or educators. And then I think we can just continue our work in broadly participation. I mean, we just, the numbers still are not where I think we are not representative of society. So those would be my two, what we need to keep working on. Well, Stephanie, congratulations again on your incoming presidency, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.